You know what time it is, bitches. It's pump it up time. All right. <clears throat> this video is going to be like one of those just self-explanatory videos because people always want to know, like, how do you get big, right? And everybody on the internet right now is going with the lift heavy, uh, you know, 7 to 12 reps and lift to failure, okay? But to be honest with you, I've seen several people that don't lift heavy at all that got really big and really cut. I think it has a lot to do with if you have the type 1 or type 2 muscle twitch, my dogs. <laughs> Getting jealous because I'm recording a video. Um, fast or slow twitch muscle fiber, right? Primarily. And I know that basically we all have a combination, um, but it seems that... Some people grow better from the fast twitch and some people <laughs> grow better from the slow twitch. So, hi. Uh, believe it or not, I grow with a combination, but I don't lift heavy for growth at all. I, I'll do like 25 reps and it seems to peak my butt, my belly's better when I do heavy, when I do like a lot of reps and I grow just fine from high reps. <clears throat> you can still break down your muscle fibers with high reps and not lifting heavy. Like heavy, I guess heavy is also relative, right? Because what I consider heavy um, is like when you see somebody doing like 400 pound presses, that's heavy, right? But I would never do that, especially at my age. <clears throat> and I've never had a problem where I feel like it's my workouts holding me back from growing. I'm basically the size I want to be. Uh, I'm just going to be shaping and, and sculpturing as I get older. And, you know, little little differences for me will make a big difference the way I look, the way I want to look, right? And I think that if you want to get big, you have to know your body type and, you know, what you grow from. Uh, another thing, too... Um, is that not everybody's going to get big, you know, everybody's got different genetics. But I do believe that one of the biggest things about if you want to get big is you go and you work out, you have the appropriate rest time, and you don't necessarily have to lift heavy. Maybe you have the genetics that you grow better from 7 to 10 reps. And, you know, Seven to 10 reps doesn't mean you're going to grow. It means you, if you're going to failure at seven to 10, right? Or one before failure, right? So <clears throat> what I'm saying is basically that for me to get bigger, I never worried about the weight. In fact, what I'd rather do is make less weight feel heavier. And I think it was Kai Green that went into this and he's huge, right? But there's a lot of guys that have like internet channels and they're like fairly big, but they'll lift heavy weights with terrible form. And then they'll say, well, I don't know why this body part isn't growing. So I'm, I'm pushing on this, but you'll see when they go to do a tricep pull down, they're doing this and they're using all chest instead of the tricep, right? So just basically you want to use the tricep, not so much of the chest and the shoulders. But I've noticed like on other people's videos, when people are giving advice, but they really need to take it, you know, um, make the weight heavier by doing good form and a good contraction on the way down nice and slow. And then you'll get the muscle fiber going you'll you'll break down the muscle fiber and you'll get better results and that's just the honest truth and i've never like people always freak out about the size of my arms because i think they're about almost 20 inches right now and i'm only five nine um i'm 232 pounds maybe so i'm bulked as all hell i'm actually chubby right but um it's just my bulk season and I'm not going to go like above this weight too much unless it's uh, more in my lower body, right? Because as you get older, you're always concerned about your leg size. But um, 
Yeah, I, I just think that the fascination with lifting heavy is silly because the only reason I never lifted heavy to get bigger. What I did is I I trained like for like three, four months just in a good training program that I liked. And then what I do is I in a month, I just be like, okay, I'm gonna lift heavy now just for like, you know, showing off for the bros. And in a month I'd pick up the strength and be able to bench a lot of weight. But it wasn't for growth, right? Or or you know, curl a lot of weight or squat. Because you pick up strength is is not you have to understand there's a lot more to lifting heavy weight than being strong. It's all about the proper way to lift the weight, the speed, the balance, and like everything put together, you know, it's it's tendon strength, a joint strength, you know. So there's not like for me lifting heavy. Uh, I'll be in the gym and guys on purposely will lift heavy around me and then slam the weights and have terrible form. And I don't know if they think they impress me, but they don't. Right. I'm like, wow. Um, you really have no concept of what you're doing, but they think being strong is, you know, the way to get big or, or lifting heavy weights with terrible form. And it's just not going to work. It's not going to work at all. I'd rather see somebody curl 20 pounds, right? And I've said this in another video, but say you're curling, right? And you go all the way down, all the way up, right? All the way down, all the way up. Now, what I always see uh, too is a lot of like this stuff going on, you know, and not going all the way down. I seen a guy the other day, he was like, he's probably like six, four, right? And he, and he saw the weight I was doing puts three more stacks on it and he's doing this. And I'm like, at your age, he was probably, you know, uh, probably 45, right? So he should know by now that that doesn't do anything. It works your calves as much as it works your biceps, right? But people always ego lift. And I, I'm seeing it a lot on the YouTube channels, which is just ridiculous because Everybody knows if you pump enough steroids in your body, right, and you ego lift, sure, you'll get big to a certain extent, but you won't have that body that you really want and that you're really going after, all right? And that's, and not, even if you pump your body full of steroids, you're, you're still not going to get big if you don't have the genetics to get big. And sometimes it's not just the steroids, right? A lot of times it's, okay, this guy, he was just missing testosterone. He throws it in his body. He's, he's bigger right? And he could be lifting like shit. But good habits last a lifetime. Good routines, okay, last a lifetime. And it's, it's better to go in the gym and make yourself physically healthier, okay? And having a good routine that keeps you disciplined, Okay, because lifting weights for me is not about being big. It's the discipline that's involved and, and the routine. And if you're lifting weights, yeah, the big is a bonus when you're young. But after that, it's, it's, it's just, it is what it is. Everybody's different. I don't look at small guys and say, oh, that guy's small. If anything, I look at me and I say, I got to do better, right? What can I change? And I'm like, I hope that guy's not looking at me, judging me. So if you're self-conscious in the gym, or you're worried about everybody, trust me, that big bodybuilder beside you is probably just as self-conscious, all right? I mean, sometimes there's an asshole, but assholes come in all sizes, right? So, all right, guys, so the best thing to do to get the size is not always lift the heavy weight. It's make the weight be heavy. Trust me, Kai Green knows what he's talking about. He did a whole video on it, and he was right. A lot of pro bodybuilders know what they're talking about when it comes to training. It's not about the weight. And anyone that sees you eagle lifting realizes you don't know what's going on. So get out there and do something good for yourself. I'll be here. I did something. Now it's your turn.